Hi, I'm Jamie. I'm with MT Solar and I am here in beautiful Greeno, Montana. And I am going to be going over how to install your 5050 module clamp on your railing system. So first, I'm just gonna go over a few things about this clamp. Um, you have a couple different things. This is called an integrated spring assembly. Basically, it's spring loaded when you grab right here on these tabs and you pull up. As you can see, it gives us a lot of space for maneuvering uh, when you go to ahead and put on your modules. It's also gonna kind of hold it together while you put your entire array together and then you can tighten it down. You also have your bolt for that tightening down purpose and you have what's called bonding pins. And they're just these two little guys right here. And those are always going to be facing the module. So always make sure to have those in contact with the module frame. So first, I'm gonna grab just a piece of rail here to show you how that mounts on there. With your rails, you're always going to mount them with the open side up, and that allows you to insert things like your module clamp. So you're basically gonna take this little guy, and we recommend that you slide it down from the top. And you can do that with all of them at once and then adjust them going from there. That's probably the easiest. You can finagle these through, um, by going in at an angle like that, but it is a little bit more difficult. Either way, you can get it on there. So basically, we're just going to get that on there and we're going to turn it. So we always want this to be the frame. So if you're at the top of your mount and your module is going to be here, you'll have the pins like that. If you're lower or in the middle, your module frame is going to be there and so you're going to have your pins like that today i do not have an actual module with me so i'm going to be using this book uh basically it's roughly the thickness of most modules so it'll work for this procedure so you're going to slide that on to your railing from there you can adjust with that bolt to get it to be the thickness that you need to clamp onto that module. So you don't want it to be too tight because you want it to allow for a little bit of give as you put your entire ray together, but you do want it to be tight enough so that it does just hold on to that. All right, and as you can see, those bonding pins are on the other side in contact with the module frame. From there, you will go ahead and add your module for, or your 50-50 module clamp on the other side, and you'll go down the module and eventually complete your entire array. Once you're done with the entire array, just take your half inch socket, tighten all these bad boys down so that they're good and snug, and you are good to go. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.